Well, that took me a different way home. Did get a little bit of the scenic route in. And now I'm passing Kings Island. On 71, with our fake Eiffel Tower. Talked to the kid, didn't go to Dayton to hang out with him. I'm pretty tired after my stupidness last night with the whole waking up in the middle of the night. And he reminded me of a time that he did that at about 4 a.m. once, got me up. because like, I gotta go to school, you gotta take me, because he was getting a ride to school. It was his freshman year of high school. And uh, he needed me to take him to the meeting place. And I'm like, dude, it's like not even five. It's pretty funny. That's all I got. Uh, actually, I the scenic route that I took though, just really, uh, it's a cut through, it's a, a route that goes directly between our, the two highways, crosses them, I should say. Um, goes through a little town called Waynesville, which has some antique shops and some, some cute little stores. And uh, right about that, I was talking to my son and my wife called. And so I said goodbye to him, switched over. And she's like, where are you? I said, well, I'm actually, I just came through Waynesville. I'm taking a cut through to get over to 71 to avoid the traffic at the 275 interchange and all that. She's like, we were just in Waynesville. And so it, we, were, I, we were probably five minutes apart going through the intersection, um, which is pretty amusing. She was headed south, so she got to this this very highway a little quicker than I did because they took a more southerly route, which is actually, I, I mean, I know it's quicker, but that's just not the way I wanted to go. I wanted to go the, whoa, whoa, hi, I'm in this lane. Just the way that I wanted to go. So, sorry, somebody tried to hit me. All right, gotta go. My wife says she can't wait for a piece of furniture to clean up all my mess here, but all of my mess is just this clear plastic tub underneath everything else. There's the line of delineation. We get a lot of leaves, as you might expect, from the, you know, 75 year old, 80 foot oaks here at the Oaks on Bernie. But luckily we have a bit of a wilderness behind us where we can drag the leaves out. So I don't think I shot any of this last year when I was doing this. Where and I dragged the tarp full of leaves back here into the woods which we've been doing for well, as long as I lived here, which is 20, 24 years. So we just drag in where we want them and then we invert, invert the tarp. Over the fence. I've been saying for most of the 24 years that we lived here that I was going to put a gate in the fence which has been damaged from tree branches falling <sighs> just one of those things I was gonna do but I've never done I still don't think I'm gonna I got a lot of wood to split gotta get in on that too at least I know all the leaves are off of this tree They're not off of that tree or the neighbor's tree is uh, underneath our burning bush here I had thrown down a bunch of mulch and there's grass growing down here. I thought my wife planted the grass seed, but she says she didn't, so we don't know where it came from, unless it came from next door. Which would really be weird for a neighbor to throw grass seed underneath a neighbor's shrub, I think. Don't you think? I think that's weird. Especially after consistently blowing leaves into this area of our yard. Shawshank Redemption. I'm finally watching it. So after two straight weeks and then three weeks before that, 
up in Upper Sandusky, Ohio, where they filmed some of the movie. I, I now I, I'm finally getting around to watching it. I DVR'd it just the other week, and so it's exciting. It's a really good movie, and I knew that, and I'm just so glad that I am finally getting to watch it. I don't know what happens, though, because, again, I've avoided it on purpose. All this while I'm also making chili. I'm cutting onions to make French onion soup in the crock pot for the first time. And I think it's working. Mmm, onions. Mmm. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. You have to be kidding me. All right, uh, that's enough to get me uh, a content strike um, or whatever you want to, a warning. Uh, I got in my wife's car and it's November 2nd. She was driving the car yesterday. And yes, she was already listening to Christmas music. <laughs> well, look, there's the moon. Good morning, moon. All right, I got to put my seatbelt on. Happy Monday, people. Got one video up, got to uh, edit the next, got to work and all that fun stuff. But first I have to go to Kroger to get the rest of my ingredients for our French onion soup. My computer, I thought it was 8.45 instead of 7.45. Come on, work. All right, uh, hi, happy Monday. Um, doors are open so that heat comes in. I have to re-clean this again. It's just gotten loaded up with crap. <sighs> it's not even winter yet, which is when it usually gets loaded up with crap. I'm back, I'm back on my perch on the porch. I'm happy to be here. Wife is in the shower, kids are off to work and school. I've already been to the grocery store and back, as you saw. Um, so you've already seen the trailer. So uh, we're just gonna make this day. I have no idea, oh wait, there it is. Wrong. While the computer's doing its thing, yeah, I have the hat on because it's kind of chilly this morning. I have to get used to using a mouse again. I uh, I don't even know what's going on. And there was something else I was gonna say and I can't remember what it was. Oh yeah, I have no idea what's on the docket for today other than cleaning up my crap from, um, from being away. I've gotta make sure all my expenses are done correctly. I've gotta submit those expenses. Um, but that's good because it's all one month, so nothing's gonna bleed over in the second month unless some receipts, um, you know, some expenditures on the credit card don't come through, um, which is is what it is. So um, we'll just do our best. But uh, um, the receipts on the phone are kind of goofy between this and that. And I gotta clean this computer up, but look, look what I found. So I'm actually stupidly, strangely excited about that. Uh, it's kind of good, good to be back in the routine. I hope it becomes a routine. We'll see. All right, um, French onion soup is cooking. I've shown you all of that as well. Um, oh, good Lord. So one thing I did have to do was I had to spend a significant amount of time last night just deleting old videos on my phone because yes, again, yes, again, my phone is full because I do this all the time and I'm shooting a lot of videos, not so much photos, which is a bummer because my Instagram feed has gone to so, I don't know. And I really, really want the new iPhone 12. This is a 10 XR, XS, whatever it is. Um, I really, really, really want the 12. Because, you know, because. And I'm already making payments, so why not just keep making payments? So I might want to slide up to the Apple Store and see what that's about. My screen's scratched, so they might say, okay, well, let's replace your screen first. But also AT&T, my provider, is, is um, giving, you know, that's their recent commercial, is... Um, that uh, existing customers are going to get the same great deals that uh, new customers get. Finally, finally reward us. We've been with them since they were before they were um, uh, since they were Ameritech. They were singular before they were AT and T, and they were Ameritech before that. That's how long that my wife and I have had cell phones with that company. So come on, they should be paying us. Well, that was easy. I have uh, run, driven, driven. Yay, although the top's up in the convertible. I've driven to the home office, got my flu shot, and I'm out there. It took like no time at all. Life is, life is good.
So, um, because I'm over here, I'm gonna go get a club sandwich at my place. Sandwich is accomplished. It is just a tiny little spot. I, you know, I don't even know what else to say about the place. Oh, you can't see it at all. I mean, it's in this little strip with a couple other things, but it's the only thing. It's the only thing. This is the line. That's the line of cars to go vote. Central location, been busy. We've talked about it. My son did it, went smoothly, lots of people, but I'm walking to my polling place, which is almost across the street from my house tomorrow. That's my plan to vote. Make sure you plan to vote. I plan to vote every year. Back at it. It's uh, first Monday in November. Um, so we're going to hit it hard. We're going to hit the weights hard. Um, we're going to hit the fasting hard. We're going to hit the eating hard because I just, this, uh, you know, all this working from home and especially the travel, I definitely gain weight on the travel. Um, so, you know, it's about time to get to work. I've been meaning to, I've been saying I'm gonna, but I haven't. Now I am. That's not bad, 28 minutes. Less than my previous attempts. But good Lord, that was three months ago. October, September, August, oh, four months ago.